when you're a young child and your parents say you can do absolutely anything you want to do in life you can be anything that isn't a hollow statement that's really true I'm Christopher Fisher and I am a blind wood turner I woke up one Sunday morning, it's almost exactly a decade ago. Woke up with blurred vision and didn't know what the cause was, but to cut a long story short, uh, I was diagnosed with uh, toxoplasmosis, which is an infection that affected the retinas. So I'd gone from blurred vision to completely blind in four weeks. You do go through a bereavement process when you go blind. You can't, you can't see the beauty of mother nature anymore, a blue sky, and it's things like that that sort of like tug at your heartstrings more than anything. But I suppose after time, you become an expert at being blind. I've always been and remain so a huge horror film fan, and I wanted a vampire stake as a piece of horror art. I thought the way around it would be wood turning, but I had never been a wood turner. So I listened to YouTube for 600 hours. Initially it was terrifying uh, and I still get scared every time I use the lathe. This machine is spinning incredibly fast. Some of the pieces of wood have substantial weight to them and mass. It's nerve-wracking times and you can be presenting the tool incorrectly to the work and it will get what's called a catch and it'll fire the tool back and you've got to have a firm grip so it doesn't throw the tool out of your hand. So yeah, anxious times but lots of fun too. Lots of people thought I was crazy and other wood turners have said to me, why have you still got all your fingers and things like that. When a workpiece is on the lathe, I am getting lots of reference and feedback both through the tool and it's coming through my fingertips. The sounds of the wood from a safety standpoint are very important. The pitch and the tone gets higher and sharper as the wood gets thinner and there'll be telltale rattles or knocks. It takes me a lot longer to do a piece than it would a sighted wood turner because I have to start, stop, feel, start, stop, feel. But also that makes me a lot safer. Disability, it's, it's a strange word. I like to say, disability doesn't mean you can diss my ability. Don't label people and don't ever say no, they can't do that. That's the worst thing you can say to me because I'll just go out of my way to prove them wrong uh, and I, I will achieve that. There'll be times when you are angry, you can lose your patience, you're sad, uh, Things that used to take you a minute can take you many, many minutes. But I wanted to prove to myself and to others that you shouldn't lose uh, a grip on your dreams. There are lots of people that are going through trauma and transitional periods, and it's, it's not always to do with disability. People from all walks of life can be going through tough times. I just want people to, when they're up to it, get straight back in the saddle and grab life by the seat of the pants and carry on. That's what I'm trying to spread, that message. Uh, please never, never give up. Even though things might seem to be worse than you ever thought possible, please, please, please stick with it and, you, and you'll get wherever you need to be. I wanted to learn wood turning and there was nothing that was gonna stop me. I've been through some really rough times. I know deep down I'm a better person for it. I am a stronger person and this might freak you out, but I don't want my eyesight back. I am happy with who I am now, and it was such a struggle to get to where I am. I don't want it to change. <laughs>